Hello and welcome, I'm Raziel and it's Wednesday which usually means a theory video and because I've not fin I've finished most of my work for today I can actually do one today which is great because Wednesdays are quite busy usually but I can do this theory video and it's based around the crown and the crew of the Nautilus. Now the crown is basically the British Empire of the dystopian age, basically, can't really go much like that. And they obviously hire mercenaries, they have a decent sized fleet for dystopian age, and they have a single posse for Wild West Exodus. The Wrath of the Nautilus is the posse, they have that legendary Ramin Yamu you can buy, and the Drum of the Nautilus. All fantastic models, and yeah, I'm actually painting those as we speak, basically. I'm actually going through those ones. I'm having a lot of fun with them as well. There's like a guy in a floaty wheelchair, Catwoman, and they all look absolutely amazing. They're fantastic looking models. Well worth it to look. And of course, being British myself, I've got to do uh, some videos on the crown myself. I mean, come on. I have to. It's, it's, it's patriotic. It's in my blood to do these videos. So, the question of the day is, not just what's in the vault. See, I've already discussed this, and I've I've surmised there's probably weapons of some sort, or you know, alien creatures. There's something in there. We know this, and Sturgeon is very adamant that no one else gets in. Yeah, they really don't want people in there. He even people from the Enlightened themselves. He's absolutely stopping Carpathian getting in there. And the watchers are just kind of staying away from the lost world, which means it might be something a little bit more frightening. But so here's the question. Not just what is in there. What is it in there that the crown wants, but wants to stay away from? What, like, they don't want to be connected to it at the same time. They want it, but they want the uh, acquisition of said object. But they don't want to be connected. They have plausible deniability should it go with you know should it get stolen or removed now this is where we bring in the crew of a nautilus captained by rami namu now see here's the thing rami namu was pretty well off she's not a poor girl she wasn't born up in poverty in india she was brought up during the uh, times of a raj in delhi her father was an ambassador and obviously she was well she was a well off girl she didn't need to go out adventuring or anything like that but during the indian revolution the her mother was killed unfortunately and her father had to bring her up so she was under the tutelage of governors and governesses and you know so she is very intelligent she's very well educated so going down the route of a pirate or criminal what surprised her father and it was piracy that drove her to this venture. She, she longed for adventure. So she'd run away at 16 and she wasn't really heard again for about a decade afterwards where she started to crew the Nautilus. The Nautilus is a submarine. It's a really big boat basically. And she uses this to do lightning fast raids on ports and ships and well, she's a pirate basically. And so she would, well actually she's at the moment, she's more of a privateer, which is a, hired pirate by a government and the government is will take responsibility and you know sort of make sure they have a safe haven but she would raid ports like Portsmouth to Bay, all over the world she was just absolutely you know on this she loved this lifestyle and her biggest loyalty is to her crew and she will do anything for them but unlike most pirates, you know, murder and pillage and all that, she aimed to get antiquity. She wanted stuff that was old and historical. And so this is where we come to. She has now been given orders by the Crown to go to the Lost World. But why? Now this is an interesting question. Uh, if the vault's the vault, it's not going to be really full of antiquities. It's going to be full of, you know, alien stuff and you know all sorts of interesting things so why hire someone who's prone to stealing antiquities to go into a vault now that's kind of a really cool part because antiquities doesn't necessarily think means vases paintings uh you know gold and all that it's it's about age and how old something is and the vault is very old and given her very good crew, she has a fantastic crew with Victoria Smee and um, 
other any other team members whose names I forget. She knows what she's doing. And I would say her plan of what the crown wants is to steal a weapon of some sort. See, if she's caught with gold, silver, you know, anything of treasure what like, it's and the crown can go, yes, we asked her to get that, it's gold and treasure. It's basically pillaging or archaeology or anything you want to call it. So they can take, you know, they can take advantage of the position of that. They hired her and her crew to steal these antiquities. Whereas if it's a weapon of some sort or something that's quite devastating, they don't want, if she's caught with it, they want plausible deniability to go with it. They want to be able to say, yeah, this wasn't us. Uh, we didn't hire her with, and deny everything about her. You know, the whole Mission Impossible thing, you know. So that's what I think she's after in The Last World. And she's been hired by the Crown to do this. And it's to be brought back to the Crown, probably for some hefty reward. And back to England, back to London. But if she was to be captured from the Antarctic up to, you know, Portsmouth or Bristol, wherever she's going to dock, then the Crown can just deny it. They can just say, yeah, this has nothing to do with us. This isn't enough for us. We didn't know she was going after this weapon. And they get off scot-free. Whereas, you know, she's going to be into some serious trouble. Stealing gold and stuff is one thing, but having these massive destructive weapons that the Watch has owned and will absolutely devastate almost anything is a completely different cat or fish. It's so different. And... That's what I think it is. She has been sent to the Lost World to take the alien weapons from the vault and bring them back to the UK, bring them back to Britain. And I don't think they would let her just stop in South Africa. They would have to go all the way up, straight up to London by her and her crew. Why is this? Because if she was to stop in South Africa, which is you know part of the Commonwealth, then they would have to travel across the land to do this. And the weapons would have to transfer them through many hands as they pass borders and, you know, all sorts of uh, places like that and many countries. The risk of the weapons going into the wrong hands would be too high. Having them by one team or one crew or one person and go and have a direct route minimizes the chances of it going missing. So to um, just to summarize, she has been sent to the Lost I believe she has been sent to the Lost World to take some weaponry from the vault and take them straight back to London so they never pass anyone else's hands except her and her crew and they go straight to where they're needed without any problems so what do you think is running the moves and the Nautilus's orders to be in the lost world do you think it's something else do you think she's there for assassination though technically that's never really been one of her things or do you think she's there to steal something else? Or find out some secrets or whatnot? There is plenty to theorise over this. But I, my, my bet is a weapon of some sort. Just so she can, so the crown will have that extra edge within this dystopian age. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to get the Wrath of a Nautilus posse, which is a fantastic looking posse. It's very varied, like I like them. Or the Drum of a Nautilus or Legendary Renny Nimu, which is one of the best looking models I've ever seen. Uh, you can go to Wheeling Games down below. That's where they are. And just look for the Crown and Wild Rest Exodus. That's where she is. She's under the Crown. And there you go. And then free delivery after £20. There is also... Do, 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 uh, for Forbidden Planet, of course. Forbidden Planet. For all of your cool movie merchandise. Geeky stuff. Comics, DVDs, mangas. All that cool stuff. My merchandise. Stickers, cups. Well, travel mugs notebooks, bags, t-shirts, what everyone else does, all my artwork, my comics, which are really cool, there's an anthology, which is horror, fantasy, and I would say quite dark, and then there's uh, also the Little Red Riding Hood one, who's going ham on cyborg werewolves, and Skyforge, can't forget Skyforge, good friend of mine, and good guy, and finally, Patreon, because business, bye-bye.